Does it feel like Netflix and Prime and making us miss some of these exceptional Nigerian films on other channels? You think so? Here are top 10 movies and series not from Netflix that you don't want to sleep on. At number 10, we have Madame, presented by Yoruba Wood. This narrative unfolds as a young woman in pursuit of better opportunities take on a role as a maid in a mansion owned by a blind young man. The storyline offers a glimpse into the lives of visually impaired and physically challenged individuals, providing valuable insights. Another timeless creation from Mama FM Destiny. This classic promises to delve into the unique experience experience of these individuals. At number 9, we have a 9th in July. This film is presented by Omoni Oboli TV. It unfolds an enthralling narrative centered around a young woman in search of answers. The tale commences on perplexing night when she experiences memory lapses, leading to the abrupt cancellation of her wedding. As she endeavors to recollect, she discovers a web of lies that complicates her situation further. Amidst the deceit and tricks, unexpected sources provide her with solace. The story aligns the transformative power of truth, emphasizing how it can reshape one's life and serves as a reminder that life is replete with unforeseen surprises. And at number 8, we have My Twin. In the captivating Yoruba movie, My Twin, available on Akpata TV, Omin Toriola takes on the role of twin sisters with contrasting character. While one sister is huge gentleness, the other embodies manipulation and a self-centered nature, going to great length for personal gain as the intricate dynamic of their life unfolds. The consequences of a dreaded deed loom large, threatening not only their sisterly bond, but also the life of those unwittingly entangled in their web of deceit. At number 7, we have open marriage. A couple's challenges in intimacy and communication and fidelity prompt them to contemplate an open marriage. However, they come to the realization that this decision was a mistake. Despite their difficulties, the couple expresses their love for each other and decides to make plans for a fresh start. And at number 6, we have mannerless. In my life, but I want you to love me for me, not because of what I have or because of my money. Phil, a wealthy and influential man, over years winning a light skinned lady, passionately expressing an aversion to dating less affluent man during a phone conversation with a friend. Determined to test her sincerity, Phil decides to feign poverty and pursue her romantically. Collaborating with his friend and colleague, they orchestrate a game in which Phil's friend pretends to be the one infatuated with Winnie, portraying immense wealth. Meanwhile, Phil assumes the role of an errand boy, delivering gifts from his friend to Winnie. Despite the gift originating from him, the relationship between Winnie and Phil is marked by constant quarrels and mutual dislike, creating a compelling dynamic in the story. And at number 5, we have Agu. This is a 2023 Lega television series available on Showmax, directed by Anis Alowi. The six-part Lega drama revolves around three central characters, Etim, played by Kanayo, a down-on-his-luck 50-year-old lawyer with career and alcohol issues. Also, we have Pius, a believer in traditional worship, accused of murdering his friend Jonathan. And we have Victoria, an ambitious prosecuting counsel with a complicated history with Etim. The narrative unfolds as Etim takes on Pius' case in a bid to revive his career, leading to a courtroom battle against Victoria. Amidst the trial, the series delves into the character's intricate relationship, dark secrets, and the clash of belief system. This show can be found on Showmax. The body of Mr. Namdin Wokiji was found at a beach house this morning. I'm afraid he has been murdered. At number four, we have Diche. Diche, a renowned A-list actress, finds herself at the center of a high-profile murder investigation following the death of her fiance in Amde. The engagement party on a private beach celebrating the soon-to-be-married celebrity couple takes a dark turn, leading to the mysterious death of Inamde. DJ becomes the primary suspect in the murder, intensifying the storyline as a search for Unamde's killer on force. Notable figures including Jimmy, Efa Iwara, and Ichiji Money, Kalu Ikweagu, are implicated in the crime alongside Kesando, Chinyere Wifred. 
The underlying theme suggests that in Dichie's world, all suspects are either affluent or famous enough to potentially manipulate the legal process. And number three, we have Formula Yoram Sum Kuti. The biopic Formula Yoram Sum Kuti, currently showing in cinemas, features Ken De Bankoli in a role reminiscent of her performances in Sister and Adere. The film directed by Bolan Lee Austin Peter and written by Tunde Baba Lola recently received two awards at the 12th African International Film Festival for Best Overall Feature Film and Best Screenplay. The narrative traces the life of Fumlola Ransom Kuti, mother of the late Afrobeat icon Fela Kuti, from her early days as the first female student at Abeokuta Grammar School to a marriage to Israel Ramsom Kuti. The film portrays their collective resistance against oppression through the creation of the Abeokuta Women's Union, showcasing Fumilaya's relentless activism while navigating the role of wife and mother. Considered for Oscar by the Nigerian Official Selection Committee for the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences, it offers a compelling glimpse into the historical challenges confronted by this remarkable woman. What are you saying? What are you telling me? This is a sham? I'm married to you? How is that even possible? And at number two, we have Better Half, produced by Ruth Kaderi's production company, Ruth Kaderi 24-7, and posting over 17 million views on YouTube, unfolds the story of a young university student who, captivated by his lecturer, resolves to win her heart and Mika, his wife. Can this be possible? How did he pull this off? All these are seen in the movie. And at number one, we have Hura. Wura is available on Showmax and centers on Wura Amu Adeleke, the assertive CEO of Frontline Goldmine, balancing her role as a perfect wife and mother of two. She navigates the cultural gold mining industry with ruthless determination in the poverty stricken Ikmerido community of Ocean State, where Wura's mine is located, lives the Kuti family, including Pakuti, Yabakuti, and their children, Olumide Ebmolua, an adopted child, Tumenino, found near a river by Pakuti. There are several others, but these are the top 10 for Afromnia, and we will definitely bring you more. But for now, which other one do you should have been named instead of this top 10? Let us know in the comment section below. I can feel it in my blood. Ooh.